Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. Thanks again for tuning in. We are going to be checking out in today's video Avengers 200% exhibition over in Japan, which was held in July 2015. Full credit to the guys who are taking these f pictures called Amy Amy. They're a very well known Japanese company have been around for a while so they've got a full selection of all the photos that they took on their Facebook page and their website so check them out there's a link in the, in the description below and if you can understand Japanese there's a Japanese website as well so if we look at this they've got one-to-one -one scale Tony Stark Hall of Armour and his R8 Audi then you have the resting area and moving across very similar to the Heisen Place display as well where they had the Hulkbuster and the Hulk. Then these are quite new, the one-to-one -one scale statues of Ultron, Captain America, the Mark 43 and Thor. And just as you enter the figure display section you have another one-to-one -one scale Hulkbuster. Most of these are on display that you've seen before, that's the Mark 43 one quarter scale, then the Hulk Buster. Before we start moving on to some of the newer figures which haven't even been displayed in Hong Kong yet, so I'm actually quite excited myself to have my first look at these. So there's the Stealth Mark 7, the Ultron Prime, and we have the Mark 45, which I think is a very attractive, sleek armor. That's one I'm looking forward to next year. And these are some of the new releases that have come out which is the Hawkeye and then Black Widow two new releases in the summer of 2015 now here we have Scarlet Witch in her flaming hand pose and we have Iron Legion so all of these we've seen before it's nothing surprising or too new because we've seen these prototypes on display or at least up for pre-order now some of these we haven't here is the Sentry Ultron Sentry and one that's been eagerly awaited Vision I haven't seen this myself personally so it's interesting to see how this is displayed when it comes across to Hong Kong then we have the tank which is a toy fair exclusive in Hong Kong in 2015 and also on display the Iron Man Mark 3 diecast edition along with Thor Age of Ultron version and there are some differences obviously with this and the previously Dark World Light Ar Asgardian armor version. When you see the display at the Japan exhibition I have to say it looks like a high-end jewelry store. Absolutely phenomenal display so Hot Toys great job on setting up and really showing off with the lighting I thought it was fantastic along with a Funko Pops display as well. So you can pick those up, those guys up if you are a Funko Pop collector. Now the next batch of photos is for non-Iron Man fans because they, these are customs. They're made by the person in the background, there's a little picture of the creator and the designer, the engineer if you want to call it. But these guys made all of these absolutely amazing creations. A lot of creativity, design. And I'm sure a lot of heart and dedication has gone into creating these. I know Iron Man is not everyone's favourite, but to see something created with Iron Man as a base and having the, how can I say it, the passion to make something your own, I think there's something different. In Hong Kong, I thought they were pretty crazy about making them, but I have to say these, Japan, impressive very impressive there's an iron chef which looks a bit like dr octopus and we have a half iron monger with a mark 7 clash together just a few more before we go on to some dioramas that were shown in the photo album and uh, the the photo album is really immense if you guys want to check it out you've got to check that out fully it's something that's very very impressive so checking out the dioramas now we have one from Avengers and then something a bit more modern Age of Ultron 1 a couple of angles here and a lot of Ultron centuries 
in this fight scene. This Hulk and Hulkbuster diorama is very similar to the one that was shown in Hong Kong at Heisen Place. However, at the back, you can see the Veronica repair units, which may well be the special hidden accessory not shown yet. And finally, we have the Captain America diorama where Steve Rogers becomes the full-fledged Captain America. Now, I want to show this because... Previously, they showed a Mark 7 broken up. This is a Mark 43 broken up. A little bit differently how it's displayed, but nonetheless, extremely impressive. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. If you want to check out the full photo album, check out Amy Amy and uh, link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Catch you all at the next video.